One of my most popular videos that I've posted on my channel is this one on how to build a simple hoop antenna. I've had quite a lot of comments and questions regarding the design and build and quite a few suggestions. A popular suggestion is if I could please show how to build a double stacked hoop antenna based on this original design. People want to know if it would be much harder to make and if it would get better reception and performance. Well, you asked for it, so here it is. Let's hop to it. To build the stacked hoop antenna, I'm going to take the original design and modify it a bit. Once again, I'll be using 3 quarter inch PEX tube to form the antenna. A lot of people have suggested that you could use a hula hoop instead. Well, if you can find a couple of them that will work, go ahead and use them. As I've always said, use your imagination. As long as you follow the basic designs that I'm showing you, it will probably work out fine. Remember, you are building two identical antennas, so do all the following steps twice and build them at the same time. For clarity, I will be showing work mostly on one antenna, but will be making two of them. So that's enough talking, let's get to building. We'll start by cutting the two hoops. Measure a hoop with a diameter of 24 inches and cut it to length. Use this to measure a second hoop for the second antenna. Now you'll have your two antenna bodies. Take a length of one half inch PVC pipe and cut off eight pieces that measure one and a quarter inches each. Glue each piece into the sides of four one half inch PVC tees. Place one of these tees into the ends of one of the hoops. Insert a straight piece of PVC so that it intersects the opposite edge. Measure the pipe from each side and center it in the circle so it evenly divides it in two. It should be 25 inches across, so center will be 12 and a half inches. Mark where the pipe crosses and cut the tube. Make sure the ends are close to even. If they are slightly off, you can trim a little bit to even them up. Use the cut half circles to measure against the second hoop and cut it in half too. All the sections should now be the same length. Set them aside. Next, cut the element wires. You can use stranded wire or solid wire. I often use Romex house wire like these 14 and 10 gauge pieces, but lately I've been using 16 gauge galvanized steel wire. It's inexpensive and easy to work with and gets good reception. The element wire will be 81 and 1 half inches long, so I'll measure two lengths of wire at 86 inches each. This gives me plenty to work with and I will trim any excess later. Now take each hoop section and make a mark one inch from the end on the inside of the curve. Do this on one end of each of the tubes so you will have one mark per tube section. Take a drill bit and drill a hole through each of the four marks you made. This is where you will be feeding the element wires, so select the drill size based on the wire the size that you used. In my case, I used a 7 16th inch drill bit. Next, lay two sections of hoop on the table to reform the circle. Have the ends with the holes you just drilled laying next to each other. Place a T-piece at each end of the openings, but don't insert them yet. Now feed one end of the wire element through the half loop, pass it through the T, through the other hoop, and out the end. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, feed the wire ends through the holes. Insert a T. PVC cement will not work on these connections, but you can use RTV silicone if you want to make the connections weather tight. Use two lath screws to secure the ends of the tube to the PVC connectors. Make sure you aim the open T-hole straight up before you sink in the screws. Insert the other T-fitting, aim the hole up, and secure with two more lath screws. And here is the assembled hoop. 
Notice the T openings are parallel to each other and both face in the same direction. Take two more lath screws and sink them into the tube next to the element holes. Wrap each lead around the screws to form terminals and trim off any excess wire. If you are careful, the two finished hoops should be close to identical. They may not be perfectly round yet, but there will be some more adjusting. If they are never perfectly round, it really will have little to no effect on the final antenna performance. Now it's time to connect the two hoops together. The distance that the hoops are set apart is an area of disagreement. If the elements are too close to each other, they will cause interference. In my tests, I had pretty good luck with distances between 8 and 12 inches, so I will set these 10 inches apart. Feel free to experiment and change the distance if you want. Cut four pieces of half inch PVC pipe, four inches in length. Cement two pieces into two more one half inch T's. Insert but don't cement these T's into one of the hoops so that they extend upwards. Aim the openings towards each other. Set the second hoop on top of these and push down to lock into place. Cut two 12 and half inch lengths of the PVC pipe. Glue each piece into a T. Now set this assembly into the side tees like this. Measure the hoops and make sure they are fairly close to round. If you need to, you can trim a bit off this cross member to adjust the circles. Get a length of wire. I'm using shielded 14 gauge solid core wire here. Cut to 11 inch pieces and strip the ends. Carefully take a razor knife and cut away the insulation on the middle of each wire. Screw the wires onto the terminals, connecting the two hoops and the center terminal together. Attach a matching transformer and your stacked hoop antenna is ready to go. If you are mounting this outside in the weather, use a little RTV silicone to seal up the holes. Some people suggest running the wire inside the PVC pipe. You can do that, but I really don't see a need to do it as long as you use good quality cable, fittings, and transformer. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it if you would high five the like icon, jingle the notification bell, and consider subscribing. All of you are what keeps this channel going, and I really want to thank you. Who knows what I'll be doing next, but until then, keep watching TV.